This Karen is caught on video slapping passenger in Delta Flight tirade. And actually, it wasn't a slap. She literally decks the guy. Okay? And it's interesting. So let's check this out. So the Karen is telling, basically a flight attendant, tell him to mask up. And then the guy's like saying, like, you got your mask down. B word. They're saying, sir. She's saying, like, you called me a B. He said, yes, I did. <laughs> and then she just decks him in the chin, and the old man takes it right on the chin, not even flinching. And then basically the guy's saying, like, now you're going to jail. That's assault. You're going to jail. B word, Karen. So, a massively viral video posted by Atlanta Uncensored shows a crazed Delta flyer allegedly slapping an older man. But this is not a slap, it was a straight up deck. Her fist was closed. She punched this old man because she was complaining about him not wearing a mask while she was not wearing her mask correctly, but also because he called her the B word. That doesn't mean that gives you the right to just deck someone, right? Just because someone calls you a bad name does not mean that gives you the right to punch them, right? Now, I think a lot of people would like to respond to some people with a punch, but you got to understand when you lay hands on someone, and they did not threaten you. You are in some serious trouble. Yeah, see, that, that was not a slap. That was a straight up punch. Yeah, see, that's not a slap. That's a punch. So this Karen, who punched him, and by the way, spit on him. Keep that in mind is probably now going to go to jail or even prison because of this, right? <sighs> yep, so she also spit in his face. And again, this is all because he was not wearing a mask. So she reacted this way because he was not wearing a mask. So she pulled, well, basically she was not wearing her mask correctly and basically ended up doing this whole thing. I don't know if she's drunk or something. So this woman, identified as Patricia Cornwall, was taken into FBI custody upon arrival in Atlanta. But here's the thing. This is what's so funny. She continues throughout this whole thing, also calling him names, but also basically, you know, basically telling him to effing put his mask on while at the same time that she's not wearing a mask, while at the same time that her mask is basically crap to begin with. Yeah, so that's pretty crazy. So the unhinged woman I didn't know, blah, blah, was arrested by the feds after a wild incident on board flight 2790 on Thursday. Atlanta police said in a statement, she was accused of causing a mid-air disturbance that led to the injury of fellow passengers and Delta employees, police said. So a video tweeted by Atlanta Center shows the woman standing in the aisle cursing at a male passenger as they exchange heated words, blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Someone in the clip said the woman went crazy on the airplane, punched this man in the face, spit on him, scratched him, and poured hot water on my leg. See, here's the thing, right? What a lot of these Karens don't understand is when they react to something like this, depending on, like, I believe, well, this is like a federal matter, 
but the FBI could technically like lay like uh, maybe crimes in the terms of like biological warfare. <laughs> I believe, I know it sounds crazy, but I believe early on in the whole COVID thing, when people actually ended up like spitting on people or like like purposely spitting on people or like licking like food in like grocery stores, that these people got very specific charges relating to basically them potentially spreading something, right? So it might just be, it might actually be worse than her necessarily just assaulting the guy with a punch. It might be something way worse than that, and she might actually serve prison time over this whole situation. Right? It might not just be like a jail thing. It might not just be like a misdemeanor thing. This might be like straight up felonies on her. All because she is such a zealot over this mask thing while she's also not wearing a mask. While also airplanes tend to be one of the safest areas for people in terms of like COVID. So when the flight landed at Hartsfield-Jackson Atlanta International Airport at 6.10 p.m., police met with airline employees at gate A11 where passengers described the incident. Based on the statements gathered in visible evidence, officers detained Ms. Cornwall and contacted the on-call FBI agent police in a statement. The officers then relocated with Ms. Cornwall to the domestic Atlanta police precinct where FBI agents responded into custody of Ms. Cornwall and added, it is not immediately clear what charges she faces. Now, here's the thing, right? Because, like, this happened on, like, Delta. And for some reason, there's, like, a lot of <laughs> situations dealing with Karens on Delta. Don't know why. Just seems like that. Feel free to give your thoughts as well if you end up stumbling upon this. One, I think the guy's kind of a champ to take it on the chin from a nut job without really flinching. People have, people are probably going to disagree with the whole like mask thing and all that kind of stuff, right? But here's the thing, right? It's just weird to have someone complain to someone about not wearing their mask while they're not wearing their mask themselves correctly. Like it seems kind of odd. Either way, Feel free to give your thoughts. Now, this is also a good reason why you should protect yourself like health insurance, right? Or even life insurance. Because here's the thing. You never know what you might get from a Karen's mouth when she spits on you. So, you might as well protect yourself from Karen's, from potential, like, super bad diseases, potentially, because you don't know what a Karen is carrying. So... It's probably a good idea to get pretty good health insurance. It's probably a good idea to get life insurance at this guy's age to potentially, you know, protect his wife if he were to pass from weird Karen germs. So, that being said, feel free to give your thoughts. I think she's going to face a lot of financial distress because of the situation. Because you got to think about this too. If she ends up getting, like, felonies from this, the rest of her life could potentially be destroyed, right? All because she was so warped in the head and became a Karen. Or maybe she was always a Karen. But this is why you should not be a Karen, to protect yourself. If you want to learn how to get out of debt, go to fortiumbox.com.